Good morning guys. So we are getting really really close to exams and this year has definitely been really weird and different. Placements I've done this year have reflected that I guess but either way exams are coming and for today's video I wanted to take you guys along with me to see how I study for a cram with me slash exam season video. This year I've got four exams, two single best answer papers and I've got two OSCEs which are our clinical and practical exams that we have to do. We've never done an OSCE yet because last year the pandemic actually canceled their OSCE. So I'm a little bit nervous about that, but either way, still go prepare for that. I've actually booked a session at main campus this morning. It's a library I've never been at, but I've heard it's quite pretty, so that should be nice. And then later on, we'll be working through some other things as well. So follow me along this day to see how I try and cram for exams. But before you head on out, a quick word from the sponsor of today's video, Grammarly. Grammarly is a digital writing assistant that I've been using for years, so I was super excited when they reached out. It's super easy to install and get started. All you need to do is download the browser extension for whichever browser that you like. I personally like using Chrome and once you do that create a free account and you're good to go. The free version of Grammarly is great as it helps you to check grammar, spelling and punctuation but the premium version really takes it to that next level by helping you write more readable and concise text ultimately allowing you to do more in less time. And as I head towards the end of my term I had to submit this super long activity log detailing the experiences I had for the different clinical specialties. Now I have a tendency when I write super long assignments to write run-on sentences and just make a bunch of mistakes. Having the premium features from Grammarly like Clarity helps me to avoid these run-on sentences and having features like the vocabulary suggestions helps to make my writing more interesting and compelling. You can get started with Grammarly by going to the link grammarly.com slash alphayet, which you can also find in the description box below, where you can sign up to a free account and get 20% off Grammarly Premium. Without the way, let's head on out. So we're at the main library right now, and I'll try to be a little bit more quiet because it is the library. This morning, I want to try to work through a bunch of my Anki flashcards, which I've made throughout the year. And they were based on all the different rotations I did, and I made them using notes, guidelines, and question marks. And so I kind of want to just get through all of them so that I can really drill in all the knowledge in here. If you guys want to see how I tried to memorize everything for med school, then don't forget to click the video down in the description box below, or somewhere here. Anyways, it's time for me to get a little bit of work done, and I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. Alright, so we are done with our morning session and we bashed through a bunch of flashcards and my brain is definitely frazzled. So we are in definite need of some food. I'm going to try find Yvette who just finished her finals. So she should just be on campus to wrap up some things at uni. Once I go find her, then we can drag her out to lunch and we get some food. Alright, I'll see you in a bit. Can you say hello? Hello. I'm hungry. Is it good? Can you, can you buy me food? What? What, what do you want to eat? Hi. Eko? I don't want to eat cardboard though. Okay, so change of plans. What do you want to get? It's 12.15. Okay, change of plans. What do you want to get? By the time... You're terrible at this. Hi, can I get the mega meat six inches with the Italian herb and cheese, please? This one? The leaf? This one, this one. How do you feel that you finished exams now? Old. Thank you. It's great. Anything else? You forced me to do this. <laughs> Help me. Okay. See you later. So we are at one of my favorite libraries, IOE. I came here a lot during my third year when I was doing research in the heart and things like that. So it's kind of nostalgic to come back. I want to go off and do a couple of questions. And the question banks I like to do during exam season are Pass Med, Quest Med, and Capsule Med. And sometimes BMJ on examination. Those are quite good. I feel like there's pros and cons to each question bank. So by doing a few different ones, it kind of helps to make up for each other. I'm going to try to do some questions. I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. Alright, so we just finished that second session in the library and now I want to go home and do a little bit of OSCE prep with my flatmate. Let's go home. Whew. 
All right guys, so I just finished some OSCE practice in my flatmate and I wanna just wrap up this video. It's kind of crazy to think that I'm almost done with my fifth year. This year has been a wild one. If you told me that this is how it's gonna turn out, I definitely wouldn't have believed you at the start of the year. We had some really amazing moments this year and we had some equally bad ones as well, but we cut our losses and we just keep on going. I feel like I'm as ready as I can be for this exam. And so I will catch up with you guys in the next video when everything is done. That pretty much wraps up this video. Don't forget to like the video if you guys did enjoy it and subscribe if you guys haven't already thank you guys so much for watching and until then i'll see you guys in the next one peace bye bye